In this interesting question, ABCD is given as a square. E is the midpoint of side AB. E is joined to the opposite vertex D and C. And these lines are extended to form a right angle triangle EFD as shown in the figure. If the area of triangle DCF is 4 cm square, using this limited data, we have to find area of this square ABCD. Let's check the solution. Let's start by assuming area of square as 4x cm square. Thus the area of triangle DEC which is having same base and same height. It will be 2x and by symmetricity this will be x and this will be x. By symmetricity DE length that's equals to EC. So this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So if this angle is alpha degrees then this angle will also be alpha degrees. Let's assume this angle here is beta degrees. Now here angle B that is 90 degrees. So this remaining angle here, we know alpha plus beta is 90 degree. So here this angle will be alpha degrees. Also this full angle D here is 90 degree. So this remaining angle will be beta degrees. Now let's do a small construction and extend BC to meet DF at point G. Now angle C this is 90 so this angle on top will be 90 degrees and as alpha and beta are complementary so this angle here will be alpha degrees. So here if we look at the triangle CBE so here CB is A centimeter and DC that will also be A centimeter. So this triangle CBE that is congruent to triangle DCG by angle side angle theorem. As the triangles are congruent, so their areas will be equal. So this area of this triangle DCG, that is X centimeter square. And also the length of corresponding sides will be equal. Here e is the midpoint. So EB is A by 2 and thus GC will also be A by 2 centimeter. Now how about this angle here? So these two angles are vertically opposite angle. So this angle here will be beta degrees. And uh, Let's assume this angle here as delta degree. Now if you look at the two triangles, one is this full triangle DCF and another is this small triangle here that's CGF. Now both have got beta degree angle and both have got one common angle delta. Thus by angle angle theorem, we can say that DCF and CGF, they are similar to each other. As the triangles are similar, Thus, we can say that the ratio of their areas will be square of ratio of their sides. Now, area DCF that is already given in question as 4 cm square. Area CGF, how much will be CGF? So, CGF will be 4 minus X. So, LHS we are getting is 4 upon 4 minus X. And DC is A and CG is A by 2. Simplifying it, we'll get 4 upon 4 minus x is 4. Solving it, we'll get value of x as 3. And area of square, that is 4x centimeter square. And thus area of square is 12 centimeter square. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.